Earlier on, we talked about the swearing-in of nine new members in uh, just Plateau State's uh, House of Assembly by the Plateau House of Assembly Speaker, that is Gabriel Dewan. And so we have him right here on the news, and he will be talking to us more about this. Um, Speaker, Honorable Speaker, it's nice to have you around. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Good evening. So tell us about this swearing-in. Some people seem to be aggrieved by your move. Some are in support, while others are not. Can you please shed light on why uh, some people might have reservation for what um, you did in uh, Plateau State House Assembly? Well, first, I want to clear a notion. When you said about what I did, it makes it look like it's more of a personal affair. <laughs> We are talking about Plato Serra's assembly here. It's not my father's house, mother is my personal entity. This an independent arm of government, a legitimate arm of government that has its own laid down procedures that operates. Uh, what happens today is not new or is not strange. As you are all aware, as all Nigerians are aware, sometimes in November, there were, there were the court verdict of appeal court declaring 16 new members elect from the APC and Labour Party, sacking the 16 members of PDP. And as a speaker, that verdict came while we were on recess. And as of then, there were no any communication or any uh, a clear order for me mandating me to sway in the members. All the insinuation going around the media all this while that I refused to sway in the members or I disobey court. It was just an insinuation of political uh, uh, antagonists and those who want to get political capital out of it. I was ready to sway in any members because it's not part of my wish to have a vacant seat in the assembly. Myself and the other seven members, the eight members that were in the assembly, were be operating and uh, 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 carrying out our legislative duties perfectly until yesterday when I was communicated that there are about nine members who have submitted their documents, who have passed through the documentations, because when you have been declared as member-elect by the court, that doesn't mean that you will just be sworn in. There were different other legislative processes that you have to follow. And when if those, all those processes are followed, why not? When I was communicated that nine members have met up the requirement, the, uh, the prerequisite requirement to be members, to be sworn in. As a speaker, I call my other members, and I come in and I perform the swearing in successfully and that is all what happened there's nothing more so does it also include the um appointment of a, of one of the members as the deputy speaker uh, of the assembly is that also um ratified by members uh you know uh before now the deputy speaker that is my deputy right honorable danton timothy was removed by appellate court sometimes november since then there, there has not been election to replace him. Say so it was today that the assembly deemed it fit to conduct an election. It was an election, not an appointment. They don't appoint deputy speaker. It was an election. A member nominated right honorable Ajijima, that he member representing Just East, and another member second, and there was no any further nomination. And according to the rules proceeding of the House, when there is no any further nomination, then automatically the person that has been nominated and duly second automatically become the deputy speaker. And that's what happened. Even though the right honorable deputy speaker is not among the new Sony members, he is among the existing eight members that who have been in the assembly together. And he has been entrusted by the other members who deem it fit that he's fit in to, to, to deputize me to lead the assembly as a deputy speaker and then nominated and seconded. And I son in him as a deputy speaker and that's what happened there's nothing more so then uh what i'd like to also understand what is the position of the supreme court in the second of the 16 pdp lawmakers and um of course um uh, would you say that what you did is in compliance with the law uh, not what you did invariably but then what you and the members of the house did in swearing in these members is actually in consonance with the law well, God bless you. First, you actually wanted making mistakes, so what I did, but God bless you. Corrected yourself by saying what we did, because I like using the word we. Because when you say what I did, you are, you are personalizing it to me as an individual. And I want to remind you that the Plato House of Assembly is not an individual entity. It's an institution, so it's about the assembly entirely. Now, what we did, 
as I said, you see, I comply with the judgment that has been presented. Remember, I tell you, it is not my duty as a speaker to receive communications to the assembly. There are technocrats, there are people who are responsible for receiving communications, which I was communicated appropriately that there are communications from a court of appeal with a CTC copy alongside with certificate of returns of members elect mandating me to sway them in. As a speaker, what did I do? I have no I, I have no objection to that. I sway them in. And in the respect of the other members, as I'm talking to you, if it is tomorrow or next tomorrow, if the body, the other arm of the legislation responsible for documentations and communications still communicate me back that these people have met up all the requirements and they are ready. I will them in. I have no reservation. But as far as I'm concerned, the, the nine members that was presented to me are the one I saw in. There was no any member that was presented to me. I refused to sign in. So I, as a lawmaker, I'm not a law interpreter for me to say whether what I did is in concern with the law or not. That is not my issue now. The issue in the Supreme Court and the Appeal Court and others are issues that need for interpretation, which is a continual process. If at any given point in time, I am aware that there is a matter in the Supreme Court, the PDP members are challenging their removal, which I don't have anything to say. By the time when the Supreme Court determined that they were removed illegally or anything, that they have to be returned back. As a law-abiding speaker, I will comply. So I have to comply with the existing law that has been served to me, and that's what I just did today. Okay. Uh, speaker, uh, Plateau State House of Assembly, uh, Gabriel Dewan, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank, thank you. you.